as the world is changing, new and faster passes are made. However, some are enduring discomfort, and some have been left distant, like the vast majority. Nonetheless, enactors can open new openings for people who face a black path. Now, we would like to introduce and show you the real life changes. Not a black path, but a new one! Project Recite. 어, 옷 거꾸로 입었다고 뒤에서 누가 말해주면 모르는데 그러면 이렇게 어깨 같은 데 만져보면 어머 내가 옷을 거꾸로 입고 나갔다 왔네 그래서 어 창피해 그래서 제가 그런 색깔을 잘안 신었는데 짝짝이로 신었네 그러더라고요 그런데 뭐 똑같아서 몰라 우리는 안 보이니까 There are people who face a block pass in closing the visually impaired due to their disability they need the help of others when wearing clothes but can always have people around 만약에 지원사님이 안 계실 때는 내가 혼자서 해야 되니까 골라달라기 하기가 조금 너무 힘들더라고요. 이제 이웃 사람들도 모르겠고 친하지도 않고 대부분 다 장애인을 막 피하려 그러잖아요. The visually impaired want to be able to wear clothing independently. The non-disabled can intuitively absorb clothing information such as color, front and back, by vision. However, the visually impaired find this process difficult due to their poor visual capabilities. Therefore, Resight develops clothing that helps them intuitively determine the information of the clothing in order to achieve clothing independence. We made a new path for the visually impaired, the barrier-free clothing brand Resight. Resight was built in the order of needs, product development, sales, and marketing. Step 1. Figure out their needs. To decide on our product, we wanted to listen to the voices of the visual impaired. So, we sent out audio survey files to them of which 120 people responded. Results show that 85% of the visual impaired chose socks as the clothing item that was hardest to identify. This is not only because the textures and shapes are difficult to distinguish, but it is also because socks are the only clothing item that requires pairing. Therefore, socks were chosen as Resight first product. Step 2. Product Development Most products for the visual impaired are made with Braille, but ironically, 86% of them do not understand it. This means many products are made with a low understanding of the visual impaired. However, we wanted our product to effectively solve their problem. So, we recruited 18 visual impaired people through the Anyang and Gunpo Association. And the experienced group used Resize Socks and reported back the usage. After 8 weeks of prototype experiences and 3 times of developing processes, the Resize Socks were born. The key feature of the Resize Socks is the embossing of the buttons. With the number of embossed buttons, they were able to distinguish five differently colored pairs. Step 3. Product Sales and Marketing We chose Wadid to spread our story and for market research. Additionally, we placed our Resize socks and Oreo flyers with QR codes in seven associations. As a result, our products were promoted to visually impaired successfully. Resight actively applied the Sustainable Development Goals 10th Goal, Reducing Inequality, to contribute to the resolution of inequality. Ms. Chong Suk shared how she was now able to distinguish the color of her socks and wear them without the help of a guardian thanks to the Resight socks. <laughs> We reached a total revenue of 3,299,501, selling 1,275 pairs of socks. A total of 200 visually impaired people have come closer to closing independence through our Resight product. Resight is now expanding its product range from socks to tops and bottoms to provide a variety of accessible clothing for the visually impaired. The top is currently undergoing testing and will be completed within August 
to be sold along with a Recite box through neighbor's smart store. Recite wants to expand the path with the visually impaired. This year's goal is to be with 25,295 people, 10% of the total disabled population. Therefore, we are willing to meet more visually impaired people through the expansion of the offline market. Because 60% of the visually impaired prefer offline stores where they can physically try out clothes. We partnered with the Hanguk Shigak Changin Yonape and Hanguk Changin Kuyong Anjong Hape, which is the most visited place for the visually impaired. By allowing them to purchase recites clothing anytime within the stores inside the association, we will solve the difficulties of the visually impaired that struggle with online shopping. We will walk with the visually impaired towards a more independent closing life. We will be on that path with them. We are Recite. Project No. <laughs> Here is a man who is facing his limitations with the changing times. He is a natural dye craftsman. But as industrialization progressed, natural colors were slowly forgotten by people and eventually disappeared from our daily lives. In order to preserve the natural dyeing technique, the government implemented an intangible cultural asset system which provided financial support. However, only two craftsmen received the financial support, thus the unchosen craftsmen are struggling to continue their natural dyeing work due to economic difficulties. Their dream is to conserve natural dye work without financial difficulties. We are planning a new form of work that would be more financially beneficial, making products using natural dyes. Luckily, with more than 20 years of manufacturing process experience of the craftsman, we found a potential eco-friendly fashion market worth 30 trillion won. However, the craftsman lacked business knowledge to develop product because he only worked on preserving his natural dance skills. Therefore, Noel will motivate and inspire their ability to enhance their commercialization capabilities through producing and selling marketable natural dye products. This process was conducted in the order of product planning, development, market research, and sustainability. Step 1. Product Planning the natural dye craftsmen lack understanding of product planning methods and the main customers of the eco-friendly market, the MZ generation. In order to increase his understanding of such methods and processes, he trained product planning with Knowles fashion designers. He studied 124 kinds of clothing design, followed by an 80-hour training session. Having repeated this product planning procedure three times, we've met 40 MZ generation customers. With Noel, the professional craftsman was able to plan products that fit the customer's needs. Step 2. Development Because natural dyeing is a delicate process that is affected by even one gram of difference in ingredient and water, we needed to research on how to commercialize it. Therefore, we partnered up with Patton, a company that sells natural dye products, and conducted seven rounds of experiments for research purpose also consulted the Daju Chonyeon Yamsek Jedan to further their expertise. Moreover, to ensure sustainability, the recipes were documented so that the craftsman can dye the same color by himself. Step 3. Prototype We participated in the flea market twice in order to understand the customer's satisfaction with our products and receive feedback. The developed version of our product was then sold through Wadis we were able to see the marketability of the natural dye products because the null string bag that the craftsman designed reached 97 sales, a total of 3,113,000 won. Step 4. Ensuring Sustainability We chose IDAS as our sales platform, where the products could be sold sustainably. IDAS provides free consulting programs 
on detailed photography and website operations to the artist, thus allowing a professional craftsman to be trained to operate without any knowledge beforehand. Null actively applied Sustainable Development Goals 8 goal, Decent Work and Economic Growth, to promote sustainable economic growth. Through a total of four steps, the natural dye craftsman learned how to plan products and run an online market by himself. In June, the natural dye craftsman recorded 1.2 million won in sales. 60% of the profit will be spent on natural dye and conservation activities, which will provide a solid economic basis. We will expand this path with a new business model. With now, the craftsman has increased the revenue. But running the workshop by himself, he was forced to spend a lot of time and money. To overcome the limitations, Noel came up with a new business model, founding a cooperative. Noel recruited three more natural dye craftsmen to join the cooperative. As a result, spending less time while making more margin. A natural dye DIY kit was the start of the co brand. By simplifying the manufacturing process, we could reduce the cost of necessary manpower and secure market through B2C, B2B, and B2G. We want them to continue their natural dye activities without financial difficulties. Every day, the natural dye craftsman is a step closer to his dream. We will work with them. We are now. Now, they are headed for a new path, not a blocked one. Inactus presented a new way of clothing life and identify traditionally new possibilities. We will not stop working to make one's life easier, to protect one's dream. We are Enactus!